this way. So like this. Same thing. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> They've got the funniest little bodies, haven't they? They do. They really oh, yeah, that's really beautiful, right? So this is the awesome Natalie Grono, who's from the Weekend Australian magazine. And we are so lucky because she's actually going to be documenting the birth of our precious baby boy in just over a week's time at Gold Coast yes. Private Hospital. And so it's really exciting for us today. She's come to take some candid pics of um, Bump plus family. And while I've got her here, I really wanted to ask her a little bit about her work. Because for those of you who don't know, she's had um, photos in the New York Times Online, which is really exciting. And in other major publications. And you've won awards too, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really impressive. So um, you've got a real knack, I think, of capturing the humanity in your subjects. So how would you describe your photographic style? Um, yeah, I'd say my style's very documentary, candid. Um, I just have a real passion for people and life. I'm a very kind of curious person. And uh, yeah, I just, when I photograph events and people, I, I like to feel like I'm involved and then therefore try and make that viewer feel like they're involved, almost like they can walk into the photograph that they're viewing. That really makes sense. And I looked at your, was it Sisters of the Sea? Oh yeah, The that Surfers. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Where did you shoot that? So I shot that in my hometown of Lennox Head, yep. and, uh, which has like a flourishing community of female surfers, which yeah. I was very passionate about. and. Yeah, so I started like a portrait series photographing them and using like the landscape of Lennox Head with some of its old kind of, you know, housing and beach houses and horses and bringing that rural kind of side into the beach. And yeah, yeah it's real. Your work is really real. Like it's so arty. Like you, you, yeah, you can. You can almost walk into the scene, I think. Yeah, <laughs> well, thank you. So what do you love most about photography? Meeting people, okay, yeah. yeah, it's kind of like a passport to the world. Like, you know, I'm going to get to experience <laughs> your birth with you. Like, it's just such a, a beautiful way to experience the world and then give back to people as well. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's I think that's what I like the most. And every day is different. Yeah. Yeah, and you would get to meet a huge variety of people too, wouldn't you? Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah so many different walks of life and um, that's what's really exciting about it too you never you don't know where you're going to end up you don't know who you're going to meet what story you're going to be told and uh, yeah it's like a real privilege to be able to share that to people as well and it's true pictures can um, mean a thousand words can't they like you can say so much in in one photograph can't you like, yeah I yeah. think yeah about a person or a place or whatever you're capturing yeah so. exactly <laughs> Well, do you have any tips for amateur photographers about how to take a good shot? <laughs> yeah, well, my biggest tip would be is not to overthink things and not get too caught up in your equipment and obviously be confident with your equipment, but really it's about, uh, if you're photographing people, it's about connecting with people and it's the connection that makes the photograph. It's not so much the technical skill, yes, that comes into it later on, but it's, yeah, if you have feeling that you want to convey, I think that's the most important thing over anything else. Yeah. Wow, so that you are the perfect person <laughs> to come and document our birth, because, a Spencer's birth, because I think there'll be a lot of feeling and emotion there on the day. Yeah, definitely, I'm looking forward oh, to it. I'm so excited to share the day with you, and just thank you so much, and Thank you for being here today to meet us and meet the family. Oh, no, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking forward to it. My daughter's very excited about this shoot, so um, let's get on with it. Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> okay. Maybe just close your eyes for a second. Keep them closed for a second. Beautiful. What are you most excited about meeting your brother? Changing his nappies. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, well, you're gonna be doing oh, that. No, cuddling him, aren't you? You said yeah. that you can do cuddle duty. She no, said, I'm teaching Piper to do that. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, we're teaching Piper to do cuddle duty. I thought yeah. I was teaching Piper to turn his nappies. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, should we have a look in the other room and we'll... Yeah. You want to sit. Maybe so you're on the edge so we can see your bum. Well, yeah. And then, Luke, you can come in from the back. Right, so you, you spin your legs into your mum, so it's very close. <laughs> and you'll have to lean, um, yeah. Oh, great, I can stand out here too. <laughs> Just don't fall over the balcony. <laughs> you know, you're away, away. Hi, Mum! Oh, you're a little poser. <laughs> yes, you are. And just do a bit of a Brady Bunch look around at each other. Here's the story. <laughs> well, <I'm gone. laughs> okay. So, same kind of thing, just lots of laughter. <laughs> <laughs> bit of touching oh, of the belly. Well, Daddy just has to tell us a Daddy joke. Yeah, yeah, and then we touch, touch and my then, mommy's tummy. And then we'll all be <laughs> rolling our eyes. Right, mommy's tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, about giving mum a kiss on the cheek. Do you know who's really enjoying this? Oh, 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 hey. <laughs> I know I can that. He can't yeah, maybe stay with dad. What's wrong with you? Okay, give mum another kiss on the cheek. Yeah. And while you're doing that, put your hand on. It's Spencer, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Spencer. He can hear us. He sure can. He really can. <laughs> I know I often ask my girls, do you remember when I told you that story? And they're like, no, well, when was it? I was like, you remember that story? Hi, Pa. Hi, You look this way. Hi, Pa. Oh, yes. Now just look at each other again. Hello. <laughs> Sometimes when Spencer's really talking. <laughs> You can actually see my whole belly moving now, like an earthquake or a wave. That one anymore? That's striking one. That no, that's. Um. Oh, I do fit into actually. Oh, every dress has got a pattern. I do fit into this one. Okay, you want to try that one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so because we've got the floral pattern. Yeah, you're something right. Something a little bit different. You are right. I could this change into this. something Do else. you want to change into another one as well? Because sure. that would make different. sense, wouldn't it? We'll just see more of your face now. Yeah, that's it. Okay, big smiles. Look at you. 10, 11. <laughs> you turn your face again to the right. Yeah, that's it. That'll be a big smile. One more. Now let go of your mum's arms and arms up in the air. <laughs> ah! Okay, great. Thank you. If you bring that hand under as well. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's actually really nice light there. Just close your eyes for a minute, both of you, yeah. Right, bring that hand in as well. Maybe if we all just put it under, so we can see that there's a Yeah, that's it. See Spencer. See Spencer. Yeah. Is it a bit bright? Yeah. Okay, we won't be too much longer. That's it, nice and close. 